co-pilots. UK versus US. Being the final. Human. Guess I mean, what? It's, not, it's not even really a final, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Like, well, uh, unintentionally, uh, we accidentally have been incredibly biased towards the better shows. I actually think this one is the closest to me preferring the US one has been. Ooh. And that's purely because of structure. I like the structure of the American one. But I don't like the characters as much. I think that's normally the problem. Mm. I think... I get the problem. Like, we're not really in a position to just sort of watch an American thing and go, I relate to this. Yeah. Especially when we're comparing it to a British show where we go, this is the good one. I think we should stop pointing out the flaws in our podcast. <laughs> Point out the flaws in being human US. Um, I, I didn't mind it. I mean, I don't like the guy who plays Aiden. And it took me ages to realise that I, I knew him from somewhere. And then it turns out he's fucking Darth Maul. Yeah, and he's in a lot of things I've seen. Yeah. The thing that I always found, it, I, I think it's true of most American shows, is that all three of the main characters in US are pretty like flawlessly good looking mm. are you saying that the three from the BBC aren't I'm not no it's they're that is that is pretty much what I'm saying like they're like they're normal looking like they're good looking but they're normal good looking but I the American versions are just like too I almost in that sort of like oh I think you might actually be a vampire you're just I don't know it's, it's hard to describe without just being like they're beautiful <laughs> why aren't British people that beautiful <laughs> I was going to say perhaps it's just difference in uh just between us and them. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just the difference between free healthcare and paying for it. <laughs> you expect better results if you pay. Um, Did you also notice that they, for Mitchell's character in the US version, they just named him Aiden? <laughs> yeah, Aiden I did Turner. think. I did think that was really odd. I mean, yeah, because I I remember I saw an interview with um, Aiden. <laughs> before which one? The, which one? Before the American show came out, where they just went like, he was like, uh, the interviewer was just like, "How does it feel to know that someone's going to be playing your character?" He was like, "I don't think he's playing my character. I think he's playing me." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh, they must have. They must have liked my performance because they took my fucking, fucking name." Took it. <laughs> but this was the UK version. Of this was the first. Um, thing I saw Russell Tovey in I actually it might have been Doctor Who no I saw him in this first and uh, yeah I think I saw him in this first actually and it's because I watched this that I then watched him and her oh, and that changed my fucking life that was a fucking great show proving that you don't need to do fucking anything <laughs> to make an amazing show yeah, just a good cast. But, I mean, I suppose... What is being human? Oh, well, I mean, I've just watched Blade Runner. Like, <laughs> you, so I have a long answer for that. <laughs> in, in this context, <laughs> what is being human? Uh, it's... Uh, well, the the BBC one anyway. It's the the, the ghost, a vampire, and a werewolf all share a flat. That is the same in the US version. <laughs> I I thought it it. 
isn't there something different in how they come by the house? Because in the BBC one, aren't they? They're just they've already got it, haven't they? They're already living in it. I think they. Does it then? It flashes yeah. back to them meeting the landlord, doesn't it? Also, I've not seen um, too much of either series, um, but the uh, ghost lady Annie, she absolutely was murdered by her landlord boyfriend. Oh, hundred percent. Yes. I mean, yeah. It's just obvious. He's like, oh, uh, you know, oh, it's terrible. Yeah, she fell down the stairs, and she's like, oh, I don't remember what happened. Like, yeah, he absolutely has killed you. Because I'm pretty sure he tells a different story. He doesn't. But also, then would explain why she's a ghost. She's like, well, the old unfinished business stuff. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got hiccups. Yeah, and like, I it's it's a really subtle, I suppose I only noticed this because like I've watched it so many times. But whenever they walk past the bottom of the stairs, I think for the most part the camera's at an angle where you can see one of the tiles on the floor is cracked. Oh, really? Yeah. So you can always like it's. Like a pr- it's a permanent fixture in that house. That oh, okay. I, I like didn't crack. I didn't spot that. But I guess you know I wasn't looking. I mean, for if it, I so. murdered a girlfriend, I'd probably have fixed the fucking tile. When you say if, I mean, you have done previously. So. I mean, it was a bit of a secret. I told you that in confidence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's fine because I'm a vampire. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think the trouble is from the first episode. I don't think anyone is going to have a favorite character that isn't Mitchell. Yeah, because uh, I think the problem is you always have with like anything that has a vampire and a werewolf. The vampire always seems cooler. I mean, maybe not so much in the American version, but <laughs> in the UK version, I. Actually, you have to disagree with you because I've always preferred werewolf stuff. Like, always. I say, I think when they're in the same sort of thing, they're always like a rivalry. I'm pretty much thinking purely of Underworld. Underworld, yeah. The thing is, I, I watched this and then I went and watched like Underworld and was like, oh, werewolves and vampires, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> they're a bit more fighty and. <laughs> higher numbers genuinely I think the second Underworld film is like it's a really good film but I really like the second one the first one's a little bit slow and boring in I parts I haven't watched the series in a long time but I remember really enjoying it I think somewhere in the sort of same lines of how I enjoy Fast and Furious <laughs> where I'm sort of like yeah it's a bit yeah but I like it yeah I might be Resident Evil actually Oh, Resident Evil, they're, they're good fun. Like, they're shite, but they... Yeah, it's they the same with Fast and Furious. Like, they're not films about driving cars anymore. No. But fuck, they're cool. <laughs> I think I've only seen one Fast and Furious film all the way through, and it's because we went to the cinema to see it. We went and saw Fast and Furious 6 when we were at uni. Oh, God, you haven't even seen the cool one with the tank drives in the ice and they take out a fucking submarine no nope. oh. no nope, not seen that uh, well oops spoiled the end for you there <laughs> do you know what that's really really ruined it wait 6 but, is the one with I think the longest runway in the world uh, someone calculated it it would have to be something like 29 miles long to yeah. accommodate the the, 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 spe- the right speed idea. that everyone's going at it's just like you would have run out of runway you'd all be dead um Speaking of places where everyone should be dead, go on. Um, I thought that was going to be a really good segue, and then I was like, "Oh well, the hospital that they work at." Yeah. There we go. Somewhere where everyone should be dead. I like that. I think of the three shows, this is the one that I think where the pilot separates itself more in the U.S. version. Yeah, they are different. They are very different. I think, I, d- I think the American one gets through the first couple episodes of the UK one a little bit quick. I can't remember. Does it get through? Quickly? Oh, well, in in this, so they sort of. I think they they cram a bit more from later into the first episode. I think oh, to I get it going. Okay. I think because I. 
Because I'm pretty sure that you see George transform in the hospital with his sister there in the American version. Uh. Not George, Josh. <laughs> they have different names. It's very confusing trying to keep up with who is who and who is who. Yeah, Josh is the werewolf. Um, I think he does transform with his sister. And, but I think that happens like in the next episode of the UK being human. Because it's most of the first episode of that is where he transforms in the house and there's a bit more oh that's right yeah 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 because he goes to the woods as well yeah it finishes with them sort of sitting outside the house yeah with him catching that big fucking Catherine Ray telly just like Ugh. I don't want to leave anything else he's like yeah we'll just pretend we're having a party and it's like people are going to notice that you've just fucking sat outside all night Clutching a telly on your own. <laughs> like, how drunk were you? And, oh, wait, no, there's the whole bit with the bar as well. Where. Well, with with Lower, when um, the, he sees him outside. Yeah, and like. Lauren who Mitchell you get a flashback of Mitchell accidentally sort of a bit murdering yeah or not murdering so much as converting to a vampire and yeah she turns up and like I like how surprised he is as well it's like motherfucker you, you turned to a vampire it's but like, the thing is because I think he would have to feed her and I don't think he did I think someone else did further down this weird fucking vampire like Oh, don't worry. We'll fucking sort this out for you. So what, you killed a girl? <laughs> no one will know. Because I think that's... Like, that sort of plot of like them hiding in plain sight is, like, true, I think, vampire material. But just... I think a lot more modern than you get to see it a lot of the time. Well, at the time it was anyway, and then fucking Twilight... That's true, I think this came like just before Twilight exploded. I think so, because I think it was like 2009? Yeah, yeah, which was. Oh no, Twilight was 2008. So Twilight, the film, came out in 2008. Ah. Well, it was just, I guess, good timing, because this would have been way more popular after Twilight anyway. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 I think they were, they were lucky. Either they were lucky or they knew it was going to happen and thought, well, let's hold fire and. Well, that's right, the thing, because you can't. Because I can't remember when that Twilight first Twilight film came out, but it wouldn't have been. It was yeah. This would have been in the works already. Mm. And they were just Could, lucky that it exploded. <laughs> just lucky, like oh, this big fucking vampire and werewolf films come out. Like, <laughs> we've got a fucking TV show with that. I would actually be really interested to watch Twilight again because I went and saw it at the cinema. The first one. Yeah, and yeah, I, I saw it in the cinema as well. I don't remember much of it actually. And I, I'd quite like to watch it just, just to see like if it is as bad as I think it is now. I think it probably isn't. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's just fine. Yeah, I think it's not. Twilight is probably not interesting storytelling. I think is the problem. I don't think any of the characters are particularly well written. But I think the films are fine. I, d- I had this a minute ago because I told you I was doing this This there's this letterboxed app where you can like log films you've seen and I was just flicking through them and stuff um, I can't remember which ones I've seen or not I know I've, I saw up to def- I think I've definitely seen the first three and then they split the last one into two films did they? yeah it's weird because it's the only sort of splitting of a final film that I almost kind of agree with where it makes sense because they split it like as she becomes a vampire that's the end of the first half and then it's you get this other film where she's a vampire and it's like yeah, it kind of I makes think, sense that's a good split 
I think that's the one I've it's not seen. It's not Harry Potter for like no reason. Oh, we can split the set into two. Instead of making what I wanted, which was just one five hour film. <laughs> well, if you stick the DVDs on one after the other, it is. I thought you If you stick the DVDs together, <laughs> you will get what you want. But, yeah. I, the thing, this was like. This came out right at that time that vampires and werewolves and shit were big. Go, going mad. But the thing, I guess, I really enjoy being human. I, I've watched the whole thing. I, I really liked it because it has that sort of like... You don't often get to see vampires just dicking around in Britain. No. Uh, no, it's gone. I, I, I had a like sudden memory. You, like, I the thing is, if I you have, if you have like show. one example... That's kind of my point. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> Whereas, like, you get like loads of um, werewolves and vampire stuff set in America, and like obviously set around like sort of Central Europe and like that sort of like the Balkans. Fuck it, that dragon, uh, Dracula Untold. Like, oh, that's Luke That's really bad. That film. I think it's a pretty film to watch. It's just not very good. <laughs> like I think I didn't like I didn't really like the story, but visually I really enjoyed the film. I was gutted that like because you know Universal were trying to do their whole monsters universe thing. I was gutted when that turned out to be utter shite. Yeah, the thing is, I think that would have been a much better film. I think if they had sort of gone like the first half is him like back in the olden times, being a bit of a cunt. And then just sort of go, well, and then I slept for like 500 years and now it's the modern day. Yeah. Because as much as I love, like, stuff set in the olden times, modern day stuff always translates easier, I think. Because, like, the thing that being human does that I really like in. I can't remember if they do it in the US version, but. It shows all of... Because you know there's the whole, like, vampires don't have reflections. Yeah. I mean, they would deal with the whole sunlight thing, but it's set in the UK, so there's no sunlight. I was going to say, they do sort of just skim over that one. But I think think it's... They've taken the sort of standard traits you'd expect from a vampire and kind of gone, the sun's a bit inconvenient for what we want to do, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's probably fine. Because otherwise you've got to shoot at night the whole time, and yeah, I can see why you don't want to do. It. It's like Buffy actually; they sort of relax the sunlight rule quite a lot. Like any I think it's sort spikers. of a fair thing to say that over time, the vampire virus would evolve to maybe not set its host on fire in the sunlight. Maybe, but but yeah, I remember like Spike, like occasionally, like in the later series, he'll run round you know sunny California, but he'll just have a blanket over his head, and that's fine. Yeah, and I think, but yeah, they cover like, oh, what happens if, like, someone tries to take a picture on a mobile phone, and they're just like, well, he's not fucking there. <laughs> like, it's a bit weird. There's like some, a bit later on in the show, there's some like weird stuff with like, um, vampires making like snuff films and stuff. Really? Well, yeah, like, cause obviously they like some of them really fucking love it. They love killing it. But because they record it, um, when anyone who watches it, all they see is someone dying. Like, for oh, no okay. reason. Like, in the throes of passion, they're just like, oh, there's blood everywhere. How'd that happen? And you're like, oh. But it's really good. So they do, they do stuff like that. I can't remember if the American version does that. I feel like maybe it's not something <laughs> that American Network would let fly. Possibly not. But, oh, I just fucking love <laughs> this show. It's so good. I did like it. I, I think perhaps I was slightly too young when I started watching this to properly appreciate it. Because I've looked at, like, later episodes and stuff, and there's mentions of, like, the old ones, which is yes. very Lovecraft. And so, yeah. I mean, halfway through it gets like because I think there's only like six seasons of the UK version. 
Yeah. And like halfway through, it just gets like a soft reboot because they're just like, well, well, these guys have gone off to be a dwarf, so <laughs> ah, fuck it, you're all gone, and just some new f- characters. To be fair, Russell Tovey has gone on to do a lot of really interesting stuff. Like he was in that Ian McKellen film, Helen Mirren film, came out last month or this month. The Good Liar. He did Doctor Who. He did um, him and her, Gamma obviously. Spacey. Yeah, he's done some fairly big stuff to be fair like he's pretty good I do like him yeah he's I th- I think because to be I can't remember why I watched it oh yeah because the girl who plays Annie was in a TV show that I watched when I was a bit younger and I was like oh this is the first thing I've seen you in since I think it was like Sugar Rush or something I don't know what that is I was like oh, it's fine it's on the list for next year okay cool and I was like, oh, this is the first thing I've seen you in since that. Like, it'd be cool to see you in a different role. And I watched this and I was like, oh, wait. Here's, like, a story that I really like. And then got to watch it, like, progress. Because I think at some point they just moved to Wales as well. Because, like, Bristol's getting a bit fucking sunny, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go to Wales. But, like what it does really well is it has all these like short story arcs but in the background it just has this massive like I think for the most part the true story for the whole thing is like the vampires want to take over yeah and I genuinely think that that's at least through the first three seasons that's the main arc and it might even go over like four or five seasons Do um, uh, is are there more like werewolves, or is it just him? Oh, there's more werewolves. I think there is a point as I think there's some point in the show where there's three werewolves living in the house and one vampire and a ghost. Fair. but it's really cool and it does some really cool stuff like Annie has a really good story as well like really as a ghost (laughs) like she gets some interesting bits of story and like deals with like her version of the afterlife I'm 90% sure that like the American show does all of these things as well like the American show is like I've watched the whole of that as well and it's also very good does it stick largely to the same stuff or does it go off and do I its own thing I think it does the same too? sort of thing that most of them do where they do it for like a solid season of just sort of sticking to it and then they go America's a bit different to the UK so we're going to do some of our own stuff yeah but and the thing is that's fine if they sort of because you kind of go well we're using your stuff but we can't just sort of go we just wanted to do the British one but with American accents because you can just dub it and it's fine <laughs> <laughs> but I think both of them have sort of similar themes but I, th- I feel like I think it's just the American one moves a bit faster yeah I definitely got that feeling like and, the- I, and they also I think don't soft reboot it so they don't chop and change the characters those characters and those characters only that's. I think that's something that does slightly put me off, like a, a show where it does, you know, change cast halfway through does sort of. Put I me think off it's slightly. not like a, it's not an instant change. It's a uh, sort of slower change. I've just read a spoiler. <laughs> like Mitchell leaves first, and then I think George leaves, and then Annie leaves. It's literally all of them then. All three of them leave, but they don't leave. Uh, they leave slowly. Oh, okay. Like, Mitchell leaves, and then, like, I think half a season later, George leaves for different reasons, and then Annie leaves. But they're all slowly replaced with other characters. Ah, uh, fair. I think they almost. Apart from Mitchell's replacement vampire, and then they all almost get, like, a. Like an overlap where it's like a mentor mentee, like <laughs> this is your role now, kid. <laughs> oh, fair. Okay. 
I think even the ghosts get it. I think it's. It is like it's. Obviously, it's not like my favourite thing about the show is that halfway through you sort of these characters that you've grown to sort of like enjoy watching and like got really invested in are just sort of like well you're gone but I don't think it's a bad thing for them to change no I suppose I suppose because you know I guess they stop it, it because gives they want them to go like, and do stuff and it, it gives, gives them, them just new stories yeah I, I don't you know uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing I suppose so yeah because I think mostly the stories the better stories seem to come from vampires having stuff in their past because obviously they're all fucking really old yeah and then that shit comes to bite them in the ass. I think yeah I think it's really it's really worth watching maybe it's one of those if you find a list of like the top top episodes and just work through those Okay. Or just watch it slowly, I think. I think it's one that you could sort of like have a break in between each episode and it'd be fine. As long as that break's only an hour to watch the American version of the episode. <laughs> yeah. I think of, I mean, of all of the Ameri- UK US ones we've done, this is it's the I would, best US I one. Thought, I think it's my second of the US ones I think I still really like the US Shameless I think that was yeah, really good yeah I, I knew you were going to say that but because those are the only two US shows that I've watched the whole of in fact that's the only two UK shows that I've watched <laughs> the entirety of maybe there's something in that maybe that's <laughs> why but yeah I think yeah, I think the UK one does edge it though. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But like we say, I th- we think that's that's. I think I think we're too biased. We, we just need to do some like weird Russia versus <laughs> China <laughs> remakes of stuff. It'll all just be Spider Man, <laughs> and Japan can get involved. <laughs> Spider Man. Because so I think, yeah, I think it's hard for us to. It would be hard to prefer a US show when there's a version that's originated from the UK. Unless they just fucking banged it. And just like, just tore apart the UK one and went, what we're going to do is we're going to take the name and the characters, and we're just going to write our own fucking story. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. Because in you know where we're getting inundated with remakes and reboots and shit like that, I I wouldn't mind there being two different versions of the same story. Yeah, because I think what could they do? They could do Inside Number Ten. <laughs> Just I I think, but I think it would only work with a serial. I think a proper. Oh, can you imagine just an American version of EastEnders? Oh fuck! Where would that that would where would that even be set? Oh, I don't know. Because <laughs> like instinctively, I'd be like New York. Yeah. But no. Maybe I guess. Where would you set that? Washington. <laughs> oh, I've no idea. I'm trying to think of other shows that the Americans could have. Deal or no deal. <laughs> Antiques Roadshow. I was thinking more fiction. <laughs> um, Corey. Do you reckon we could convince them to do uh, an American series of Train Spying? I really don't think that would work. There would have to be. Oh, well, there is the opioid crisis, I suppose. I mean, yeah, could you imagine? It'd just be shameless, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's the trouble. <laughs> shameless with more <laughs> drugs. But not skins, because that was shite. Apparently there's a uh, Gavin... And, there's a Gavin, American Gavin and Stacey. Apparently. I, I saw that when I was putting this together. 
but I thought it would affect you mentally to have to sit through that. <laughs> so I didn't put it on the list. It would really fucking irritate me, I think. And that's the thing. Like, It's nice when we can both slag off a show. Oh, it's called Us and Them. That sounds like it's trying to be too competitive. It's about two I've, people falling in love. I found a trailer for it. I'm gonna watch oh, it. Don't watch the track. No, don't. No, I'm gonna watch it. Track. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it now. But I'm gonna watch it after this. Oh, that's good. So I get to personally hear how angry you are. <laughs> yeah. But the world doesn't have to find out how angry you can. Well, be. maybe I'll take to the Copilot's Instagram <laughs> <laughs> and just vent. I mean, yeah, we have Twitter as well. You could venting works better on Twitter because otherwise you're gonna have to find a picture every time. It's just gonna be angry pictures of your face, isn't or it? Or just do a story. Oh god! Oh, oh, I panicked then, because it, it, there was a thing. It was it, it was a trailer that had a Netflix thing over it. Oh, what? No! You're um, not gonna f- you're not gonna fucking believe this. Well, I guess maybe we should probably end this podcast and then just we can no. deal with whatever you've done. <laughs> you're you're really not gonna believe this, right? You ready? I'm gonna read out the first line of this trailer. And then w- when I get to the, the denouement, the important bit, I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to go and cry, okay? <laughs> okay. Right. I'm so, this. So I listen the, to you cry. Yeah, the, the next thing you'll hear from us, uh, oh, I'm so confused now because we've missed, we, we, i done a fuck up. and um, Okay, so we so you have, do this bit. we've missed Prevenge. Yeah, we'll um, get back to that. We might still just try and like whack out at some point. Uh, the next, I'm sh- actually yeah, yeah. In fairness, I think we will still do Prevenge because I do still want to watch it. <laughs> oh, I still, I really want to watch it. I, right, it's just, it's not going to be out at the right time. That's fine. <laughs> that doesn't matter. It, not with co-directors. We don't care about co-directors. No, it's dead to us. Yeah, um, it, it really is. <laughs> we're going to be watching Killing Eve and Mr. Mercedes. Well, I definitely don't need to watch Killing Eve, so I just need to. Watch I Mr. do. Mercedes. I need to watch it's- both of these. I purposely not watched Killing Eve because I knew that this was coming. You. I, I would do it on a day where you can set aside some time because I've got a feeling you will just blitz the whole thing. It's so okay. good. Well, that sounds. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm seeing some canted friends this weekend. Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, me. no, that's my Saturday. <laughs> I, can, I can do it Saturday. I'm not seeing you come till Sunday. Well, there you Easy. go. Easy. Uh, okay, and then. So, yeah, so Kill Need, Mr. Mercedes, and Prevent. Blah, blah, blah. Prevent right, so at some point, probably. This is, this is me reading out. Um, the thing. So this is based on Gavin and Stacey. Uh, the um, this is the American remake. Okay, and then that, that'll be the end of it because I, I'm gonna go and, and and burn this flat down. Okay, ready? So this is. <laughs> I'm just waiting to hear Lisa go. You fucking what? Oh, Lisa's gonna be as annoyed as I am. Okay, that's cool. Uh, this is so it's called Us and Them, which is based on Gavin and Stacey, right? This is the the strap line for this particular video, for, which is a, a behind the scenes a TV show trailer, right? Based on an award-winning BBC series and starring Emmy Award nominee Jason Ritter from Parenthood and, you ready? Alexis Bledel. Oh, you fucking what? 